are you right guys out in the back garden at the moment uh, monday the 20th of may this could well be the last uh, monday seeding update uh, we'll see um a few tomatoes waiting to go up the allotment i've done one batch which you may have seen on the video uh, a few tomatoes and chilies there in these big blue tubs i've got uh, parsnips in mm, one of them <laughs> and carrots in the other I've sort of covered them a little bit at the moment just to keep some of the moisture in. On the bench, I'm just getting some coir chip ready to uh, rebuild the rotating, what you call it, planter in the corner there, the auto water in one. Then I've got to get the bean bags uh, caned up and uh, more fertilizer in them. A few more tomatoes here and some uh, various herbs and things in the background, some brassicas. Beans, loads of beans, some herbs left over, like I said. No leeks, I'm going to do those in a minute at the front garden, some of those. Got some tomatoes in the um, grow bag with the hose lock grow bag watering system underneath. And over the back there, just see them, we've got three different cucumbers in there. Um, all the rest of the beans are down here. It's even more of a mess than normal at the moment because I'm moving things around. I love this Corsican mint. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, though. Sweet corn down there. Yeah, nearly all popped up. Peanuts, they'll be going out um, maybe this afternoon, actually. We'll see. We're going to plant those with leeks. Put it on widescreen. There we are. <laughs> not much left in here. I'll tell you what, though, I am surprised those microgreens have lasted so long. Um, I've been picking them now and again. You probably see the one at the back there, the dill. Um, they normally last three or four days, but these are on their tenth day now. So we got some lettuce, we got various things here. Oh, I can't remember them all. Let's have a look. Courgettes in the middle one. That one's just popped up this morning there in the centre. And it looks like one's coming up here. That wasn't there. Honestly, that was not there five minutes ago. Amazing. Long chilies, um, spring onions, a couple of... Um, 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 what we got in there? Oh, some lettuce and kohlrabi and um melon i think i'm pretty sure that's a minnesota midget melon in there and the last of the tomatoes in plugs there just sold a load of these so they're going to go in the mail tomorrow i've got to get fletch's marigolds up the allotment soon and on the top row we got a few more um, lettuce that's the flame beetroot um what's in there one four five and six. Oh, a couple of different types of squash Nothing yet, um, and all the lights are off in the greenhouse. All the lights, even apart from this one here, just keeping these tomatoes a bit fresh. Um, quick look at the front garden. A couple of trays of beetroot there. Uh, what we got there? One, three, three. Uh, one, three, three. I just finished setting up the uh, the let pot, and I've got basil on the bottom row and some uh, chilies on the top row. Chili planters are all set up, you've probably seen that in the video. And that's about it really guys. I've got a few um a few more basils there, a few herbs. Just gonna get those off on Facebook today. And um well, that's about it really. Yeah. So in the future I may do a, a Monday update of a of a house tour. We'll see. Look after yourself guys, take care and uh Catch you on the next video.